Hey, this is Hello, Tyler Sirianni. I'm going to show you how to make a decent uh, cartoon I'm character in Photoshop, Photoshop using Illustrator and coloring in Photoshop and so I uh, usually work with making it to a JPEG. And uh, it's a very simple process. I do it every other day, but I figured that maybe it'd be cool to do. So go into Photoshop. Like and uh, up once you do the, uh, depending on your you want to pick a size that's that fairly large, your computer, the inches, like not this. Be. So, if so you about don't twelve know, by just leave it at seventy-two, ten and a half, all right. or something like that. So that'd be all right. And therefore, first thing I usually do whenever I start a sketch, you got your Photoshop. now. I'll make a new layer. I tend to. Uh, when I draw, I tend to just uh, do little sketchy things because I clean it up later so we get and, a nice uh, gray color. in design, so relaxes your eyes because you don't want to be staring at a weight back. Once I do that, I want to just do, I'm just going to draw a random character, I'm going to name him later, but I'm going to draw his eyes. Let's go ahead and make a new layer to start your sketch on. Nice sketch, I like to use a very small brush. I start with like uh, curvatures, like curvy lines, to do like getting the shape, the general shape of the head. Usually has a nice. A lot like uh, the way Macklin teaches um, how to draw dark from observation. So, like you gotta make a no, make a certain style to your character. Let's talk I'm, about this navigator. So it's a lot more freedom, but I you gotta have like a certain way. So once you do that, I a pain in the butt to go over here and draw. You um. And just Every go with the flow, and uh, up here. just gonna try to get a nice Zoom crisp in. light. Well, I don't want the lines Ooh, getting too thing. crisp because um, you know, if I need detail, I need them like to, this, to um, do be. But if you're doing detail, um, have get in like a general stuff. flow. In order to move right now, the flow is on eighteen percent. I'm liking so, it so far. So instead of having to go back and forth, back and anyways, forth times, got his hat right there. And uh, click on this box. I have a kind of a obsession with clown-like characters. Mr. Welsh will always riffs on me, but you can draw any way you want to. I'm just going to draw a character that fits my taste. All right. So, I'm going to show you some shortcuts so you don't even need the navigator, which is pretty nice. So, if you want to pan your document, move it around, hold down spacebar, and drag your mouse. Click and drag. Now you can throw your document wherever. It's pretty nice, especially if you want to get into a corner and you want it in the center of your screen. To zoom, just hold down the Z key and click and drag to the right to zoom in, click and drag to the left to zoom out. So now you can move very easy. Get him nose. I'm just gonna make a baboon character. I always obsess with monkeys. Just press the Z key. I'm monkeys. I'm obsessed with really wizards, so, so instead of having maybe uh, on this, anytime seeing a uh, King Kong versus Godzilla me, has aborted my mind as a child. Push. So I'm obsessed with monkeys and lizards now. And let's say that you mess up somewhere. The uh, people will always think this is cat in the hat when I draw him. He's really a baboon. Mine is not currently on the right tool. Mm -hmm. It's true. Also, like, holy shit, that's a big marker. Oh, probably shouldn't have said that. Can you erase? And click B again and go right back to your brush. So yeah, those are my tips when you're working with Photoshop in drawing or painting. I hope this helped you out. Thank you very much. Let's adjust the flow up a little bit so it's not as difficult to... I'm like, I was liking it, but it's starting to get a hearty crisp lines. I usually do 80% flow, but usually. Yeah, just a line art character, that would be pretty cool. And, um. Let's take his hair over here and. Not very clean, crisp lines, but oh well.
this is gonna be longer than I expected, so. So let's give him a smirk. And uh, doing a smile is easy, and people make it more difficult than it needs to be, at least I used to, but. And give it some type of cute charm, put his mouth in, put his tongue in. Therefore. Okay, I guess we can stop it right here. Let's just do his head so I don't waste too much time. I'm just putting his bow tie in. I'm gonna add some detail later. And I take down that eraser just a tit. I mean a tat, I can't say that either. I'm so gonna be So I'm gonna do a little trick. I'm gonna since I just did his head because we're running out of time. I'm just going to crop it right here, therefore it's going to be easier to get it in, get into, now when you save it, you want to save it someplace it's going to be, now let's just call this guy Basil, I always call my character some name, like, call him Basil. Now we'll drop him into, where the hell did that go, okay. Um, applications, get, um, Adobe Illustrator, right here. Now, once you put in an Adobe Illustrator, there's this, um, you can vectorize it and turn it into, okay, okay, that's, um, uh, some BS. Can I complete the requested operation? Okay, I don't really get it. That's really driving me nuts. Okay, it looks like we can't um, get into Illustrator, so I'll do Plan B. We always need Plan B, people, because um, life is wrought with E's and C's. Threshold, threshold, there we are. Threshold is the key. Now, see, it's kind of scattery as it is right now, so we're going to put up the threshold a little bit. Therefore, we have... Uh, we could clean it up a little bit. I mean, I wasn't expecting to be delayed by that, but see, they're not really crisp lines, but we can fix that. You know, we can uh, take the eraser tool for pick pick a relatively softer brush and uh, lower the flow down. We can just clean up a little bit. Oh, first we need to. Hit undo. First we need to yeah. first we need to uh, put the layers in. Merge down. Merge is what I mean. So we have a vectorized or kind of a illustrator, a crude imitation of Illustrator. But that was our. Uh, ah! If Mr. Walsh says this is a clown, I'm gonna punch him straight in the face, I swear to god. Mr. Grew. No, I think that's about as good as we're going to get, but well, we need to fix the bow tie a little bit. Oh, it looks pretty good. I, I believe. No. 
once we, uh, I'm gonna show you a little technique I use when uh, I put up a new layer and uh, do color dodge. Wait, no, new layer. There you are. And when you do color dodge, we uh, do yellow, probably, because hat will be yellow. And uh, we'll lower the opacity down and. Okay, that's not making any sense. Hmm. Hmm. This wasn't done on that layer. Now, when you do this, you want to put another layer because you never know. Oh, I guess that layer's not gonna do well for me. Never knew that. No. Drop the opacity down a little bit more. Oh, let's see. This way, once you have the color dodge and the opacity down, you can shade a lot easier. You can. You still want to shade using the darker darks and the lighter lights, but you know this makes it a little easier. Like. As the colors merge together or whatnot, I like this guy so far. He's cool. No. No. Once you use your, uh, um, I just want to throw this out there. When you use this, the um red tool, it kind of makes it look dull and flat. You know, it's it's a bright color and it makes it a little makes it too little flat, but. Uh, see, yeah, that's why you want to color it in like more traditionally, but you know, you, whatever pickles your fancy, I would say. Therefore, let's use a pink color for his face, since we used yellow for his. Or you know what? Yeah, let's just use yellow, pink. I was gonna use complementary colors to make Macklin proud, but you know. Ugh. Now, I guess we can use the flood tool to color in the dark part of his mouth, but. What the heck is this? Oh. Okay, that's not making any sense. There we are. This computer's acting kind of goofy. I don't know why. Now, when we have the red right here, now I go white model. I don't undo. So, ah, don't want that. You know, let's put the red on his bow tie. Now let's see, put a new layer in. Let's put a new layer in and add some shading out. I hope the layer works now. Color dodge. 
This computer's a little goofy today, so I wouldn't be surprised if it didn't work, but I'll try. Oh, it's a oh, pass his way down, that's why. Darn up. Oh shit. I'm in poop. <sighs> okay, I need poop. Just, you know, do what you regularly would do with, uh, but it's all about the layers and the opacity and the whatnot with all this crap and... And, yo, know, white would be a nice way to do your highlights. You know, make it a bland and white. And now let's get the finishing touches, such as the white, the white again. You know, it's kind of, especially with the Wacom tablet, it can be kind of overwhelming at times, you know, because it's a new form of how to draw, but people don't realize it's like, can be second nature. I know it seems a little silly, but it does seem like, ah, not paying attention. See, that's our character. Now, let's see. Let's go to File, Save. No, not that. File, Save for Web and Devices. So, once we do that, we got our character. And let's see. Kind of like the Easter Bunny, actually. If he had ears, he'd be the Easter Bunny, but you know, he's our baboon. So, make sure it's a JPEG. Therefore, save it on the desktop. So we save it, and now let's take a look at our JPEG. Yeah, he looks pretty cute. Well, his eyes could be better, but you know the color is alright, and. Uh, Anyways, that's our, let's see if it's still recording. Yep, stop recording.